Hello again. Welcome back to shop class. So lucky. Let's take a look at criteria for success number two, joining. Putting pieces of wood together. Joining them together. This is the, the joints line up. Remember, the joints line up the best we can. That's all the best we can. Here is what criteria number two, joints line up. Based on your cut, the more you take your time with getting the, the measurement right, using your speed square as a fence, and taking the time to make that carpenter's mark, using your speed square against the wood and cutting it, the better your joints will line up. So what we have here is, here's an example of the joints being flush. This is ideal. We're not looking perf for perfection. Why? Because perfection doesn't exist. It's a cruel illusion to the mind. Illusion to the mind. To set humans up for crushing disappointment. Crushing disappointment. <sighs> anyway, we are looking for that where you have your butt joint, boop, boop, they just butt together, usually at a 90 degrees, that these surfaces are flush. They're flat. You could see this one here is a little bumpier there. If that happens to you, don't worry about it. If that's as close as you can get the cut with your saw, you're not going to be able to take this down anymore with your handsaw. Really that much. Don't worry about it. You will not be downgraded for this. I'm just giving you information so you know what it looks like. No, that's not what this class is about. This class is about having fun and learning together. This is flush, a little bump, no bigs. This is flush. It's even with the surface of each other. Let us say this is what happened. It's supposed to be at 90 right here at the corner and you have about a half inch gap. This is fixable. This is enough wood to safely cut your line again, to draw your line again and cut off the wood. That's enough wood to be able to cut it safely. Remember, if you have a little extra bump going like that, don't even, don't even worry about it. That's perfect, that's excellent. But when you've got big chunks like this, half inch, quarter inch, you could probably cut that down to a more accurate length if you needed to. If you had already assembled your project and one board was a half inch longer than the other, like the image you see here, you wouldn't cut it while it's assembled. Prior to assembly, you would test fit it to see if you have to make any cuts before you assemble it. This has been a video on criteria for success. Number two, the joints line up as flush as possible. Oh yeah! See you soon!